effect for Transform 2. I don't see an Elite Snipe here. And I do see a low Elite Path. Ultimately, we're fighting Slime Boss here. So I'm definitely feeling lose 7 max to transform 2 strikes, which are still not mastered on this character, and from the looks of this start, are not going to be. I can also see a boss swap being okay here, but what do we get? Consume and hologram. Definitely it says uh, go for less elites early. Thinking something like this now. Consume hologram together is actually pretty good. We can upgrade zap. And that turns into something that's pretty strong pretty quickly. But we are going to need some upgrades before this deck is able to really function all that well. Let's take some events early on here. Risk reward. We could also have just a really bad time in some of the early fights, depending on the draws here. And if that happens, that would be a little unfortunate. Like, dual cast here could or could not play along. 50-50 chance it kills one of them. Let's try it. Of course not. Alright, hologram strike and play it then. Take five. But I'm not happy about it. 12 bucks, and here's a decent attack, Melter, or Rebound, allowing us to put a card back on top. Maybe a Rebound to go with Hologram? We're not fighting a boss that generates block, I'll take a Rebound here over Melter. Not interested in that fusion, especially not with Consume. The Match and Keep, actually, this deck would like a second copy of Zap, as long as we can upgrade it. Machine Learning's here. Clumsy, huh? I don't want a clumsy. Static Discharge I would take, though. Yes, let's take a Static Discharge. Every time we're hit, generate Lightning Orbs. And a Machine Learning. The start of our turn, draw one extra card. Cool. Two powers there. Neat. That's going to make our Elite matchups a lot smoother. For sure. Bad turn one here, unfortunately. Yeah, that was a nice match and keep, that's for sure. Let's see, I want to rebound defend so I can double defend next turn. Rebound, defend, dual cast. Gain a lightning orb. Defend, defend, strike. Gain another lightning orb. And then win. Smooth fight. Another hologram, a cool headed or a charge battery. I like having a charge battery in this deck, because we are energy starved at the moment. Being able to have four energy turns would be quite nice. Cool headed and hologram aren't that energy efficient on their own. Yeah, we need some front load here. Does that not make the deck too slow and heavy in the short term? Yes, it normally does. However, if our path is not a combat, upgrade, not a combat, upgrade, relic, not a combat, then there is no short term to be worried about. Although these opening draws continue to be sad. Strike, rebound. Cast machine learning. So yeah, we're, we're, we're experiencing the slow and heavy here, which is true. But the payoff will be very swift. Second static discharge. With consume. Let's tr try it. This might be a short run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or we can get rid of a card to gain a heal here. Could actually give up machine learning and gain 10 max health in addition to a full heal. Or I can give up a uh, static discharge. I actually like the double static discharge though. Let's lose machine learning, gain 30 health. That seems quite important with these elites coming up. Although the one draw per turn is nice. Having too many powers is indeed a bad thing. 
Is the defect sentient? I think so. I suspect so, anyway. They're, they're quite a creature. Merchant! With chill. Can't afford chill and remove, though. I think we just want to remove a card. Having no attacks is a bit weird. What if I remove a defend? Yeah, for slime boss. What if I remove a defend? Surely that would be a good idea. And not a miserable idea, right? What about a potion? Definitely some potions that could be very useful here, like attack potion. How bad do we think our odds are for Act 1? Honestly, this seems like it's going to go pretty well. But I suppose an attack potion would be a good investment, sure. Let's hedge our bets here. I think this is the next upgrade. We could also just start directly upgrading static discharges, and that's a pretty good idea. Let's do that. If our enemies hit us, we want them to truly suffer for what they've done. Lantern for additional energy turn one is a very useful, given how expensive this deck is currently. Bring it, you stinkers. Might be a good time for the speed potion. Mug Hammer, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Let's do it here. Twenty-one damage incoming. So if I actually fetch, not charge battery, but defend, we can do six, seven, seven, block for twenty, and get two lightning orbs from being struck here. I'm gonna do that. So deliberately not taking charge battery to take one. I'll stress that again. Purposely playing the worst card to leverage the discharge. Fortunately, this turn gets us hit. Not much we can do about that. Zap. Zip zip. Nice fight. More max health comes to us in the form of a fruit juice. And our second steam barrier, uh, charge battery rather, is here. Two does seem better than one, especially for the mastery challenge. Also wouldn't mind steam barrier because with two static discharges, it's actually quite important that we can block for varying amounts to take a small but non-zero amount of damage. I'll still take the battery though. Well, I think this deck needs to pop off. Electrodynamics would be the big one. So here, for example, I don't think I actually want to play both defends. We want to be getting lightning orbs for free here. I will rebound one. Perfect. Battery, battery, defend. Guess what? That blocks for 19, and I take one. Excellent. Likewise, hologram defend blocks for most of the right amount. It's hologram rebound. Play dual cast. Play Zap, Strike, Rebound, Defect. Two more Lightning Orbs. The Static Discharge is putting in really good work now. Good fight. Smiling Mask for cheap removes. Always welcome early on a run, especially a defect run. And white noise could be electrodynamics. Recursion's also not too bad here. But I'm feeling white noise, definitely. 
random powers can be surprisingly good on defect. I want variable block amounts. Do I want to upgrade one of these charge batteries? That's worth considering. Do we want to upgrade consume before slime boss? I think now we should upgrade either hologram or the other static discharge. Or the white noise to make it zero cost is an option too. I'll upgrade one of the batteries and then consume. So we have a five, a seven, and a 10 block and a three block. All right, White Noise, if you're ever going to be Electrodynamics, now really would be the time. What do you got? Loop is not Electrodynamics, unfortunately. Charge Battery, Hologram, Charge Battery blocks for 17. I only take one here. But the next turn could be all sorts of bad. I guess with Static Discharge, this fight won't be that much of a threat. Aha! Easy problem. Solve. Just play two static discharges and watch the world burn. Really? Have some dual casting. Enjoy! Good talk. Alright, we can now drink the fruit juice, pick up this block potion. Tempest is here. Second Hologram and Cool Headed are also both here. This deck would really like some access to Frost. So I'm thinking Cool Headed's a good start. Though Tempest with a Lightning based deck is also very good. Actually, with Double Charge Battery, I'm taking Tempest here. Because we can get up to 5 energy on one turn. And that makes Tempest a very reliable source of damage. Is this the turn for the Attack Potion? No, let's use it with Rebound. This is a tough fight for us, Gremlin Knob. Okay. Attack Potion says, I have a rebound. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Well, I can rebound, rebound, so that I can keep playing rebound. Overall, though, this looks like it's going to go quite badly for us. Seem very likely to take a hit next turn. Let's take the Compile River, then. Rebound the Compile. Draw towards Static Discharge. Definitely want to... Yeah, excellent. Okay. And I definitely want to play the Charge Battery Plus, because it'll bring Gremlin Knob's damage to 11. We'll take one, and we'll get three Lightning Orbs here. Then next turn, we'll block with a Block Potion. Get three more Lightning Orbs. Turn after next, we should win. So we take one big hit. Shouldn't be too bad. Thanks to the power of Block Potion. And we can hologram something, including the Charge Battery Plus. Or we can try to kill this turn. Actually, we might just have a kill this turn with Zap, Dual Cast, Hologram, Dual Cast, right? That's a kill. That's um, 8 times 5. Yeah, that kills. Excellent. One damage Gremlin Knob fight. Amazing. Or a Calcum. If we end our turn without blocking, get 6 block. That's a little awkward. But what isn't awkward is self-repair. This deck wants to take damage to deal damage to enemies. Having a way to heal that damage. Excellent. Gizzard, thanks for the Prime sub and the two months of keeping it cozy. Moy Vaughn, welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. All right, let's upgrade Consume, because now we want Focus to be able to beat Slime Boss with. We might even use Consume two times, depending on the draw order here. Ooh, I like it. What's White Noise? It's not an Echo form, but it is the machine learning from long ago. Just Tempest for one, two Lightning Orbs to start with, with three Focus seems like a pretty good start. Start zapping away here. It's having only one Orb slot bad. Depends on the fight. Here, I would say especially, no, I don't think it is bad to have only one Orb slot, because we'll be able to evoke every Orb we create. Essentially. Bounds in the draw pile. Next turn looks pretty tough. We're likely to take a big hit and then win after that. Hmm. 
Or is the question of do I hologram the static discharge or even the consume? Consume would be a weird choice. Well, not that weird, actually. Now, let's go dual cast battery strike. This thing fairly close to splitting here. And then this turn we go charge battery defend self repair, I suppose. Might as well. Reduce this damage by a bit. Have some retaliatory lightning. And then... Pretty underwhelming turn next turn. That's fine. I do want the battery. I don't want to rebound strike, because we're already drawing this hand. Let's go battery. Uh, static discharge, strike, rebound. We'd like to take a small amount of damage if possible, which is super possible here. How about we go consume, defend, defend? Get three more lightning orbs that'll evoke for 14 apiece. That's gonna do the serious blap. Let's go. Behold the orb. The damage. GG, slime boss. GG. All right, we made it through. We get our hands on a duplication potion. Amplify is here to double our powers. We've got quite a few. Double static discharge, double self-repair, double white noise. And with rebound hologram, it's surprisingly reliable. Or if we just want more orbs, taking rainbow definitely gets us more orbs. I'm actually really down for this Amplify with four powers in the deck already, and some good card manipulation. I, I really quite like it. Give it to me. Definitely gonna wanna upgrade our self-repair soon. Oh man, and Runic Pyramid is here to let us retain cards. That's gonna make this Amplify exceedingly reliable, which is excellent. Copy Dripper to give us more energy without having it to rest is also pretty good. And Inserter giving us, wait, Inserter plus Consume? That's pretty powerful as well, allowing us to gain orb slots over time. Thing is, we don't have the frost, though. Believe it or not, I am a strong believer in Runic Pyramid over Concerter in this position. Very strong believer. Being able to line up the Amplify reliably, being able to easily take more energy generation cards, and being able to lean more heavily on our dedicated block cards are all good reasons for this Runic Pyramid, if you ask me. How do we feel about our pathing this act? Combats versus events. Combats seem pretty good. They can offer us upgraded cards. We should be able to heal for up to 14 per combat. And that's before we get to a rest site. After we upgrade self-repair, anything goes. And I'd like to also upgrade the amplify and the white noise. So we would like lots of upgrades. And I see we can get actually up to five upgrades this act. That's pretty crazy. So I guess it's mostly a question of events versus combats. Also a question of do I go to a shop? With the Smiling Mask, the shop is a good idea. I don't think we're in position to fight a Burning Elite though, other than Super Book of Stabbing, who we can easily defeat with Static Discharge. Quite entertaining, actually. Chosen's not that bad with Runic Pyramid, although this enemy normally a problem because of the uh, debuff they inflict. Here we can make it work. Could go defend, defend for block. I'm just going to consume and let Oracalcum block here, though. Get no dazed added. 31, huh? Dual cast, hologram dual cast doesn't kill. So it looks like my best line is actually charge battery, hologram charge battery, block 23, take eight more. And then we can try to heal for 14 next turn. So 
Some sort of block engine, they ask. Don't you understand? You're already looking at one. Truly, don't underestimate the power of this upgraded charge battery. And definitely don't underestimate the power of chill. Here we go. There's some frost orbs. Better yet, zero cost frost orbs. I'm gonna take the events. Bites for strikes. No. Too many strikes. Number two. A face trader. Heck yeah, we want to trade face. There's uh, several faces we have yet to master, yet to win a run with, and this is one of them, the Serpent Head. Whenever we enter a question mark room, gain 50 gold. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Dual cast rebound. Just rebound. This might be the fight the block potion gets used in. It's a pretty underwhelming draw so far. Now play dual cast? Sure. Yeah, this will be the block potion for me. Charge battery, defend, full block this way. Can amplify self repair next turn, maybe? Or two turns from now. Turns from now. Hello, Zap. Hello, Zap. So we're doing eighteen. This is not enough to kill. We have to block again. Seems fine to me. Turbo. That's a winner. Gain two energy. Puts a void into the discard pile, which hologram can fetch. Let's us do bigger tempests and just get more cards in play in general, especially with this consume. Keep taking events. Now I would appreciate another potion. But no, no, no. Events just because we have the serpent head, definitely. Might make it so that we want to go to a shop too. Better yet, the event could be a shop. It's not. It's a fight. It's a fight with 50 gold added to our total. Which is pretty good. Also pretty good is Creative AI. Random power every turn for this fight. I don't know if that's going to make an important difference. Really depends on the power. But uh, buffer's pretty good, last I checked. Is there any way that I could block for, oh, I don't know, 17? Yes. Dish. I block for 15 more easily. Charge battery, defend, and hologram. Actually, charge battery, hologram, charge battery is even better. And we get more energy next turn doing that. Take one here. So this would be a good turn to amplify static discharge. It would. Gets, room out, uh, gets all the stuff out of my hand as well. We're all going to attack for 11 this turn, which makes the buffer a bit more appealing. Just a bit, though. In some ways, it's actually less appealing. Let's see, five energy here, huh? Something like capacitor consume dual cast? And zap? Seems quite difficult to actually kill one of our choosing here. Yeah, where's electrodynamics at? Hello? All right, well, Static Discharge, you better save me. Good enough. Thank you, Static Discharge. And welcome to the deck, Seek. Allowing me to fetch anything from the draw pile, still skipping the cool headeds. Maximus the Gluteus, thanks for the... 
12 months. The Prime sub. So is my first upgrade still going to be self-repair, or is it now Seek? Seek seems pretty important. Let's upgrade Seek. And then we can upgrade here and here and here. Which I would like to do. Good talk. All right, Gremlin Leader, come on, Electrodynamics, where are you at? Where you at? Is this amplifying white noise? Double shield gremlin's kind of weird, actually. What do I do about this? Just gear up for next turn with chill? Actually, maybe all we need to do this turn is uh, consume Turbo Tempest and get some damage done. Then we can seek next turn, depending on what's happening. That sounds like a good idea. Give him the zip zap. We actually got both gremlins there. Well done. All right. Amplify the white noise. What do we get? Pretty VI. Don't amplify that. Just... Just amplify self-repair. Play this normal like. All right, we got attacked by the gremlins. Perfect. We will seek for chill then, and all will be well. Let's book for eleven. We can also hologram other stuff if we need to. Rebound, charge battery plus, seek for chill, and yeah, charge battery plus. Good. Shuffle with strikes in the deck? I don't really. Why well, kind of need this damage? I'll shuffle one back in. I hit for seven. Let's do the six damage here. Good. Double sneaky assault. Ooh, and I've got like no energy here. Yikes. Static Discharge, I'm counting on you to save me. Well done. Easy. Now we amplify, uh, sorry, rebound. Amplify Storm. Turbo. Amplify Heat Sinks. It's a fun fight. Turbo, dual cast strike. One health gremlin leader. Play a strike. Heal 14, back to almost full. No potions used. What an amazing fight that was. And here's Storm. Oh my goodness, we want Storm in this deck. Whenever you play a power card, channel one lightning. I would take three copies of Storm in this deck, for sure. For sure. And Potion Belt, amazing. Now this Entropic Brew is all the better. We're gonna upgrade White Noise. I actually don't feel like we need to upgrade Self Repair anymore. Is this an Amplify Mastery run? It certainly could be. Um, that's only gonna be free this turn, huh? But I wanna amp storm? No, let's wait. Well, I probably should have, quite frankly. Okay. 
not catastrophic, but pretty bad. All right, just rebound the Amplify, I guess. Seven health. I'm gonna dupe pot the strike. It had to be done. All right, and you're actually gonna not be a threat, so this is fine. Turbo, Static Discharge, go Amplify, Double Storm, Double Static Discharge. Kerblam. Back to full health. Leap, Sunder, Sweeping Beam. Sunder's kind of nice in a deck like this to kill minions. Unupgraded Sunder's a bit awkward, but still. It's really good with Running Pyramid. Let's grab one. And we should probably upgrade Turbo. Or Hologram. Event and then Elite or Elite and then Event? I'm thinking Event and then Elite. An abandoned temple with a giant book riddled with cryptic writings. We've got plenty of health to spare. We have to pay 21 health to get one of three book relics and all three of them are excellent here. Especially the Necronomicon. You get the Enchiridion, get a random power on turn one. Don't mind if I do, actually. Random free echo form, which I actually get to amplify. So double echo form for free on turn one. Good stuff. Get him, Orichalcum. The Enchilada. There's two cards to play twice. Double battery. Double defend. Strike. Can do double tempest. And more besides. Uh, although it seems to me perhaps better to double hologram. Let's do it this way. Hologram twice. Getting charge battery and amplify. Charge battery twice. Building up energy for next turn. Seek once for the self-repair and the turbo. Block with chill. Amplify both of these powers. With zap too. And then on this turn, I can just double turbo, double tempest. For 22 lightning orbs. Wow. Pocket watch. Unfortunately, not very good with Runic Pyramid, but uh, if we play three or fewer cards on the first turn, primarily, we can draw more cards on the next turn. So I can fill our hand for turn two, which is quite nice. Won't be taking any of these cards, though. Sunder upgrade is tempting, but I think the hologram upgrade is more pressing currently. I need this to be reusable so that it can target itself with Echo Form. There's the Electrodynamics. We were wondering where it would show. Here it is for Bronze Automaton, and that's going to be perfect. Do I keep the Amplify? I think we just go Storm, Static Discharge, Electrodynamics, stop here and let the Pocket Watch draw until we have 10 cards. So we're actually only able to get two energy out of it, but still. There's a lot I'd like to do here. Consume, seek for turbo. Play this as well. For what, Turbo Chill? No, it's got to be 
white noise chill or white noise turbo. Or turbo hologram. White noise and chill. Team will actually just block with this. Keep the rest for next turn. What are you? Another Electro. Amazing. Well done. Amplify the heck out of that. Lap those orbs to death. from this or what here strike rebound kind of unclear actually let's go two more lightning orbs taking a small amount of damage this turn would be a really good idea because we get five lightning orbs per hit we take Might as well do something like Turbo Sunder. Well, not necessarily. Being able to redraw seems important, though. Okay, Turbo Sunder. Hyper Beam coming up pretty soon here. Draw the void. Bummer. So I can't do dual cast, hologram dual cast. Not that I could in the first place. Uh, what do I do then? Just self repair? Charge battery? Seems painful, is what it seems. Yeah, we don't have a kill here, that's for sure. Ouch! Should just play the self repair actually over the defend there. Not much of a difference one way or the other. GG Bronze Automaton. There it is. A real copy of Electrodynamics. Get in here. Let the zappening begin. Ooh, and I like a nuclear battery to give us one plasma at the start of combat that we can use to kickstart our combats. Could also take Sacred Bark, doubling the effectiveness of potions with the Potion Belt and the Entropic Brew. I'm sure we can get some good potions. If I wanted to take Sozu, we could also discard the Strength Potion and then drink the Entropic Brew, going up to four potions, then pick up Sozu with a full Potion Belt. But I think the Nuclear Battery is more likely to be better. Give me that. So yes, Sozu blocks the Entropic Brew potions, but you can drink the Entropic Brew before you take the Sozu. Wow, we are going to be rich, Twitch chat. Check this path out. Elites and question marks galore. Taking full advantage of Serpent Head, which has already been 100 extra gold. It's going to be 250 by the end of this act. Glorious. Main goal in this fight is to get back to full health. There we go.
Awesome. Third charge battery, no thanks. Stack, also no thanks. Give me an event with money. Upgrade all cards, fight a boss, or gain 999 gold with two normalities. Hold on a minute. Problem is, if I take 999 gold, there's not any chance we can actually use all the money. So it might actually be better to take the boss fight. Just find a courier. Or a wing boots. Those would both work. Is the tooth path shop... Two shop path awful? There is no two shop path. Impossible. We can't get to this shop if we go through the Burning Elite. You're free to skip the Burning Elite and go to two shops and then lose the run. By all means, go for it. There are three relics in every shop. Thing is, we don't always want all the relics. We can buy a lot of potions, too. And to removes. All right. Can it really be this easy? Really? Can it really be? So easy. Get him, Pocket Watch. You show them. You show them the power. Got him. Seek number two. Welcome. All right, what does 1,571 gold get you? It gets you a strange spoon with two copies of Seek. Gets you an apotheosis. Gets you a second copy of Chill, maybe a third copy of Static Discharge. Gets you a Strike Dummy. Well, that Strike Dummy's not doing much. Especially not if I remove Strike. Give me Apo, though. Give me Singing Bull. Give me Strange Spoon. And yes, I'll take another Chill as well. I'll also buy a Block Potion. Might as well. Good talk. I'm not buying the Mind Blast, although one might be a little tempted. For future Thunderstrike. Now I have to lose 4 max health when I could have healed. You don't want 2 Madnesses? No. At least the Apo is pretty good. Apotheosis. might even say excellent. Very excellent. Wait. We need to kill this turn, do we not? Sure looks like it. We managed to do that, though, do we? Doesn't look like it. Ow, then, I guess. Amplify is coming up. 
Or I could have just echo formed it, I guess. It actually didn't work there because of the... <laughs> right, because the, the storm. Well, did that to myself. How about a cool-headed? We're still really lacking frost generations. This is excellent. The lack of upgrade, not that important because Apotheosis has us covered here, apparently. Fragment. Sure. We wanted to keep that energy, but... Apotheosis stayed around. That's less than ideal. Double buffer. Thanks. Yes, I would like more energy. So, hologram the amplify. Amplify storm. Seek for turbo. I guess dual cast. Amplify electrodynamics after playing consume. Oh, and white noise guts to stick around? That's really lucky. All right, rebound. Amplify. Double bias cognition. Double self-repair. Buffer stops that hit. Can amplify static discharge this turn. Stops that hit. Tempest. GG. Not the most decisive victory in the world, but certainly adequate. Third copy of Seek? Sure. Why not? Do we still even want rest sites? I don't think we actually do. Two more elites sounds great, though. Can you rebound something with Strange Spoon? Yes. Yes, you can. None of these duplications really help much. Double defend is like one of the best things I can do. Pretty sad. So now we can seek for all sorts of things, including many other copies of seek. We seek seek. So I can seek turbo cool headed amongst other things. Supposed to do that before playing, uh, it's supposed to play consume before I did that. Excuse me, it's fine. Just rebound, cool hit it, just do it. There we go, zap, then consume. White noise, the buffer to do some amazing stuff here. You're telling me I can hologram apotheosis to upgrade buffer. 
then play Turbo, Seek for Amplify, and we can Amplify Storm and Buffer Plus. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like what you're telling me. What are you watching? The world's greatest defect. That's what. Tungsten Rod, whenever we would lose HP, lose one less, I am so happy to see Tungsten Rod. And I'm very happy to see a second copy of Tempest as well. Getting two copies of the Uncommons is quite difficult. Tungsten Rod is going to let us do some hilarious nonsense with the Static Discharge. Tungsten Rod prevents most effects that are based on taking damage from working, but not Static Discharge. We can take zero attack damage, and it still counts as taking unblocked attack damage. Quite funny that it does that. Apparently I have a million orb slots, by the way. Okay, but you're not allowed to do that, though. Orb. All right, do something else. Adequate. Okay. I'll allow it. Have one about a jerk like you. Well, if the old saying, you are what you eat, is true, then you seem like you need to lay off the turkey jerky. Give me rebound charge battery. Is that a thing? Sure. Let's just spam battery. I don't want to rebound it, though. Actually, just give me charge battery, hello. We'll spam charge battery plus to block this turn. Adequate. Gain three additional energy next turn. I only want jerky. Me too, actually. This seems to have backfired somewhat. Hmm. Uh, blocking is going to be a challenge here. Only got one attack. No, Sunder's an attack. Only to be used in the most desperate of times. 13 by 3 again, huh? I'll allow it. I can always get my health back. We'll also get some block mid-turn here. That'll work just fine. Perfect. Heat sinks plus when we play a power card draw to or add a meteor strike, which we can definitely figure out ways to play thanks to Turbo here. All of that is strong. Take the heat sinks. But that meteor strike looked pretty good. Oh, we do get another merchant. All right, Twitch chat, you were correct with the 999 gold. I admit it. We managed to have exactly all of the money from the event, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty cute. 
I think we take Orrery here. Uh, we have uh, Singing Bowl, right? Yeah, we do. So we can gain 10 max health off this, worst case scenario. Double energy is amazing. Cold Snap Plus is actually kind of decent here. Defragment Plus is awesome. How have we not mastered this card? Hello? Force Field's pretty good too, actually. In this deck, Force Field's amazing, actually. We've already got two charge batteries, so we don't need to, uh, don't need to take a third one here. Take the Force Field and the Cold Snap. Yeah, I want more Frost. Too many orb slots. Too many orb slots. No remove? Did I forget to remove? I did forget to remove. And I forgot to do the rest of the thing in that shop, too. Yeah. I forgot we were in a store. This is what happened there. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not concerned. Too much. But yeah, I, c I completely forgot that we were in a store, apparently. It wasn't a store to begin with, so I'm not surprised, right? <laughs> Take that, you stinky merchant. So rebound the hologram. Get back the rebound. Rebound the dagger again. That's good. Hmm. This turn ain't good. This might be worth using a potion on. Yeah, this seems particularly bad. Alright, let's use this with potion then. Somehow that barely improved. Oof. It's tough. That is definitely tough. Good. And get rid of these stinky daggers. Whew. Buys a pack of card and leaves. Just instantly gets himself out of there. Doesn't seem to care at all, really. What gives? All the Seeks were at the bottom, apparently, also. Smell you later, Repto. There's Strength Potion and a second Storm. Here we go, Double Storm. This is the run. I love it. Two Storms are better than one. More free Lightning Orbs, as they say. Then we can do this. There's no other seek. There's no other seek. Amp electro, I guess. That'll work. It's actually, not that many lightning orbs. Fine to me. Third storm. Yes.
Relic like, dependent on your money. I kind of like that, Voda. There's no scaling with money effects in Slay the Spire normally. It really feels like there is quite a lot of room for there to be. Welcome back, Electro. Go Amp Storm Creative AI. That sounds great to me. Just have some stuff. Timbo, the time eater. What a powerful opening hand. How about this one? <laughs> so we're seeking for charge battery force fields. Our best block cards here. Turbo Echo, here we go. Still take a bit of a hit here, that's fine. Looks like things are going heavily in my favor now. Seek for what? Storm? Seek? Actually, seek hologram. I want to be able to hologram amplify here. And seek. Oh, I should have rebounded that hologram, actually. Double energy defrag ought to do, though. Double energy storm, actually. So go double energy, hologram, amplify. Amplify, double storm. Double self-repair. And then on this turn, we can go double bias cog again. And the time eater's dead. GG. This fight, we get a random buffer. This is a tough fight for power-based defect, that's for sure. This fight, we have to be very careful. The Awakened One will gain power with every power we play. And I mostly have storms, so gotta be careful here. Frost would prevent this from working. I don't have a real capacitor. I don't. You should play this at least. Wish I could play this for two. I'm gonna need that energy. Could buffer this hit, but I don't think that's wise. We're gonna need to be a better buffer than that as well. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is a fight where the Gambler's Brew is probably going to be a good idea. This is unacceptable. Keep what? Chill, chill? Discard everything else? Draw eight. That sounds pretty good. Got potions for a reason. Let's use them. That's more like it. Although the unupgraded Seek first is definitely an insult. Do chill then double energy here. I'm gonna seek for seek. Seek for amplify and seek. I'm gonna try to rebound this seek. Let's see if this works. Rebound, seek. Give me heat sinks and. Apotheosis, I guess. Didn't work. Bummer. We only need one heat sinks, right? That seems right. What are you? 
Yes. Good. All right, a wicked one now terrifyingly powerful and angry. Do have to be careful about that part. But there's nothing a couple of consumes can't fix, you know? Twenty-two by four. Okay, maybe there are some things that cannot be fixed with a, a simple double playing of consume. Bummer. That is a very big number. Accelerate to killing it soon. There's a lot of powers in my hand. Steady wins the race here, though. There we go. There's Amplify. So now we can go to town. We can also do a really powerful Tempest turn, which will help. And there's Buffer Plus, which will also help. that Tempest yet. Yeah, let's just buffer here. I would like to double self-repair if possible. So let's just keep going here. Although now I'm doing too much damage. Okay, just play the self-repair then. GG. Awaken one absolutely destroyed by five copies of Storm. We're through. Only one Gambler's Brew spent, and I still have 800 gold. I'm sure there was a reason I was holding on to it all. Don't worry, there'll be stuff to buy in this store. And we're back to perfectly full with Blood Vial, too. Excellent. Upgrade the final Seek. Never again will we draw the last, the unupgraded Seek first, because there is no unupgraded Seek. Hey, we haven't mastered Defragment. Looking pretty good. Fission, looking pretty good. Bottled Power, looking maybe reasonable. We could bottle Heat Sinks. Ooh, that's good. I also genuinely like Cauldron. Brew five random potions, which gives us more options for these final battles. And it's a relic that we have... Wait, we have mastered this thing already? We have, apparently. I'm buying it anyway. Take a Fairy in a Bottle and a Liquid Memories. Heck yeah. I like it. I'll take this. I'll remove this. I'll buy this. 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 Do I want that Dark Shackles? I have no debuffs that I can inflict. It's really only good for first cycle heart, and I actually want to get hit for cycle heart. So no, I don't want Dark Shackles. 
What about Power Potion? Might be better than Speed Potion, maybe. But only maybe. I don't think so. Onwards. Card draw. Excellent. So amp static creates two lightning orbs. We can dual cast then. Good. Two more. Perfect. So give me a rebound on Seek here. Fetching turbo double energy, I think. Did not work. Seek for Seek Fission. Seek for Electro. Storm. Hologram Amplify. Play Fission. Amp Storm. Amp Storm again. Double Electro. 24 cards played so far this turn. And they're gone. Tori is here. Excellent. The heart is absolutely going to get destroyed by Tungsten Rod plus Tori plus Static Discharge. Just watch. Just watch. Also got buffer for the big hit if we need it. Simply beautiful, as far as I'm concerned. I'll take a little bit of beta death damage, but that's fine. Seek is here. Perfect. So we just want to, like, amp static discharge? Well, we want to amp the storms, actually. So, of course, we are going to seek for seeks. We're going to seek for Amplify Storm. We're going to seek for Storm Electro uh, Apotheosis. So taking one damage at a time here. Amplify Storm. We go chill. Dual cast. More storms. Vision. Double energy. Consume. Chill. Sea fragment. Static Discharge number one. Static Discharge number two. That's plenty. Um, I can now get anything out of the discard pile, including Fission, Double Energy, and Amplify. What's this? Capacitor. Okay, well, that's absurd. Rebound, Hologram. Getting back, Amplify. But that's not enough. Cool-headed. Hologram Apotheosis. Upgrade it and play it twice. The power. And I guess make a Frost Orb or whatever. Good turn one. 
<laughs> Unlimited power. Unlimited powers. Greetings there, Mr. Hart. Awfully nasty attack you've got there. Sure would be a shame if, shame if somebody were to buffer it. And then we actually have perfect timing for the perfect kill here. Check this out, Twitch chat. Get absolutely hacked, Mr. Hart. Have some damage. Uh, what are we hologramming here? Amplify seems wise to liquid memories. Let's just use some powers, uh, some potions here. Drink this, drink this. Her blam. So amp, double electro. Double self repair. Take us home, static discharge. GG. Look at that. Zero damage, but we still do lightning. GG. Hey there. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.